The Minecraft community is constantly breaking barriers with new builds. From creating a one-to-one -one perfect recreation of the Earth to remaking fully working games in Minecraft. These are just a few of Minecraft's most mind-blowing creations which we'll be looking at today. We're all familiar with Minecraft's naturally generating structures. However, with no updates in years, they can get kind of boring. Which is why players Trixie Blocks and Pixelplex decided to upscale these structures with significantly more detail. But these don't even compare to this absolutely insane nearly 500 by 500 record-breaking remake of the Desert Pyramid, making the only thing this pyramid needs to worry about is an attack from these builds, which are stop motions built completely frame by frame in Minecraft. And when finally putting together every frame built, it creates an incredible animation inside the world. But we're just scratching the surface of insane builds. You see, Starry Night is one of the most famous paintings in the world. So a player named Chris the Cow made an exact 3D replica of the painting in Minecraft. This took over a month to build and is done through a 3 dimensional dimensional parallax effect, making you feel fully immersed into the painting. It was perfectly built to the point where when standing on this block, it actually makes it kind of difficult to notice the difference between the real one, which gives me an idea. But for paintings of that value, they need to have the biggest and best security possible. So take a look at Crafty Masterman's mega piston door that is 16 times the regular size. And not to mention, it actually works. By each piston being powered by two flying machines, this allows them to fully extend and retract, which can can make for these massively upscaled builds to use these massively upscaled piston doors that when next to me makes me look like a pixel especially when comparing me to some of minecraft's most insane map art which is made by placing specific blocks in specific areas then loading it with a map this image of the earth from the moon is a map art built by garden of eden which consists of over 12.8 million blocks and is 28 by 28 maps long or 784 total maps making this the biggest map art ever built in in Minecraft. And as if that wasn't crazy enough, it was built fully in survival mode, taking up a fourth of the world's loaded end dimension. Map art can be used to create these incredible images. However, it can also be used to trick other players through recreating known Minecraft textures. Just like how Bosco Inks made this identical build of the death screen, which when made correctly can actually be used to troll other players, especially when having it at their spawn location. And goes hand in hand with this remake of the pause menu, which may throw some players off when seeing it for the first time in their world. These massive rebuilds are pretty cool, but I think it's time to take a look at something a bit more chaotic, like this working AC-130 bomber plane in Minecraft, which functions by using several TNT dupers, allowing it to drop hundreds of TNT a minute, and it can travel up to 3.5 blocks a second, and not to mention that it is actually fully rideable. Imagine waking up in your server and then seeing your friend flying this monstrosity directly at your house. I think it's safe to say that that friendship won't last long. Now moving on to some of the most mind-tricking builds in the game, like this endless spiral island built by Amy Oak, where several spiral rings come together to create an incredible illusion to look at. But the builder didn't stop there, because the same creator made this playable skyblock island that is in the shape of a Morbius strip, which just looks insane. I can't even wrap my head around it. Neither can I wrap my head around these colorful knots and spirals built by Bosco Wink, which includes multiple incredible builds that when put all together are actually pretty satisfying to look at. And speaking of satisfying, take a look at this dissolving statue, where by using command blocks, this stone chunk will start to carve itself out. By the way, these videos take a very long time to make, so if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But after dissolving for 20 minutes, it creates this awesome recreation of the Thinker sculpture. But now moving higher up into the sky is the Voyager X, which is the largest spaceship that has ever been built in Minecraft equivalenting to over 4.4 million blocks, taking 700 hours to fully complete. Spanning almost a thousand blocks long, this build consists of 21 different floors, including ones for the Space Force that holds many fighter jets, a school that has multiple sporting courts, bedrooms, numerous farms, and several, several more to allow anyone on board to fully survive when in space. However, I think it's missing one thing, onboard games, which is why I think this fully working and playable Pac-Man machine built by Mr. Squishy is a perfect fit. But that was just the beginning of his build. Because the same creator used over 350,000 command blocks and nearly two years to create the entirety of Pokemon Red in Minecraft. That's right, you can play the full game in vanilla with zero mods, including fights, catching, training, and dialogue. Literally anything you can think of is remade in this game. He even included iconic bugs, as well as the ability to change the Game Boy colors. All in this 
amazing stadium. I don't even know how this is legal. I can't wait until I can speedrun Minecraft and kill the Ender Dragon while in Minecraft. While most players like to kill the Ender Dragon, a YouTuber named Sandiction likes to trap his and did so by making this awesome build, whereby utilizing a bug that stops the Ender Dragon from flying, he was able to keep it in the middle of the end in a cage and then built chains from the cage to a ring full of every single biome around it. So when completed, it actually looks like the dragon was fully trapped in the sky and the entire thing was built in hardcore Minecraft, which makes this build even more impressive. Now we're all familiar with normal pixel art. However, this pixel art room took it to the next level, completely tricking your eyes. You see, these blue lines on the wall appear to be in a zigzag pattern. But what if I told you that they are actually completely level and straight, which they are. And on the ceiling and floor are these black and white stripes that create the illusion that they are slightly moving, which is also completely false, making this by far one of the trippiest Minecraft rooms that I've ever been in. We've seen pixel art as well as traditional 3D builds, but what if you combined the two together, which is exactly what Beige the Builder did in this island build, where because of the combination, it creates an interesting illusion that at the right angle makes the build look just like a painting, which can introduce a brand new style to Minecraft builds that we've never really seen before, opening several new possibilities. And when exploring the build in game, it literally makes me feel like I'm trapped in a cartoon. We've now seen some of the biggest builds possible in Minecraft. So let's quickly take a look at some very interesting yet simple miniature builds that you can create to impress your friends. Like this mini nether biome that uses blocks in unique ways to actually make it look like the dimension and even makes a baby zombie look like a giant. This awesome ender dragon build used a mixture of unique blocks to recreate a dead version of the mob and even used an end rod with a candle to look like a sword going through its head. And this is a pether nordle, which is an inverted nether portal built fully in survival mode, which is done by building a redstone suppressor that prevents certain blocks from updating, allowing you to mine and break parts of the portal without the full portal breaking. So after leaving specific blocks left, you can successfully make a fully inverted nether portal. The only thing that would make this portal cooler is if it teleported you to this piston door world, which includes every possible piston door in the game, including ones that hold the world record for the fastest to close to the most complex doors in the game. Now, this next one completely one-ups every other build we've seen yet, as it is a one-to-one -one perfect recreation of the earth, where thousands of players are coming together to build an exact remake of every single country, city, and building in the world. And that's right, your house will be made in this build. Set to take several more years and millions of millions of more blocks to finish, it makes this by far the biggest and most mind-blowing build ever in Minecraft.